Hey everyone, today I'm going to go over my small collection of the American 1928 Book of Common Prayer. This was the prayer book used by the Episcopal Church until it was replaced by the 1979 Book of Common Prayer. There are still some churches that use this. Uh, personally, I don't attend an Anglican church, I just use it in my own personal devotions and prayer time and really appreciate it for that. This is the first one I purchased. It is an Oxford. It's in a kind of a faux leather, has a cross on the front, and we see this one had someone's name imprinted on it at some point in its history. It has a single black ribbon. And let's see here, it is approximately six by, oh, not quite four, not quite six by four on the cover. This one is really nice. It has a beautiful art gilding. You can see that, you can see the red coming through. There's the gold, and then you, it has a real nice deep red. It's in excellent condition, considering it's, uh, I would think, fairly old. Of a paste down liner there. At some point it was in a must have been like a church library, maybe. It's Oxford University Press, printed in the United States of America. I like this one a lot. It's a nice size for personal devotion and prayer. I suppose if you were carrying this to church, it would be nice to have a smaller one that isn't going to be such a handful to carry alongside your Bible. But uh, when I do my prayers in the morning and evening with these, I tend to just have it in my hand like so. So I like something that's on the smaller side. Really nice bright white paper. Very easy to read. It's a, it's a little yellowed with age. I don't think that's really showing on the camera, but it's still... Just really well done. The one beneath it is a more recent acquisition. If you follow me, you've seen this recently. This one was made by Seabury. I don't think they're around anymore. I've only seen them on old prayer books. Also has a cross on the cover. I guess uh, they all do. That seems to be a common uh, with the prayer books that they have that. This one is kind of a, I don't know, it's like a cloth sort of material. You can see some threads coming loose on the top here. It's uh, unique, and it, it feels nice. It's a little floppy. It opens really flat. The Oxford stays pretty flat, too, but this one does just a little bit better. It appears, I don't know, did it have a gilding at one time? Perhaps it did. I'm not too sure. Maybe not. It may have just been plain. It's, uh, whatever it was, it definitely shows its age. This one got used quite a bit more. I think this one spent a lot of time on a shelf. This one looks like it spent a lot of time being prayed from. No ribbons. But uh, this one also, very nice to read from. Despite being a smaller size, bold text. When Mamo watched this, he asked if there was any red ink besides on the front page here. He thought maybe some of the rubrics would be in red, but uh, no, this is the only red ink in the entire volume. And I'll just show this. This was sent to me by Joe St. Eggs, which was very kind of him, and he also included this bookmark, which... I've been using to keep my place in the lectionary. I will add some ribbons to this at some point. I think it's like a paper paste down liner. But yeah, I like this one a lot. I've been using it uh, a lot recently since I received it. It's about six and a half by four and a half, so about a half inch larger than the Oxford in both directions, but still. It sits in the hand nice. It opens real flat. 
I really like this one too. This one also appears to be fairly old. It has this really great embossed cover. Look at that. Isn't that cool? A little bit different cross design than the others. A little more of a flourish at the ends. Common Prayer. This course is a hardcover. It's presented to a church. 1965. So yeah, this one's been around for a little while. Book of Common Prayer, Church Pension Fund. So I've seen that on some of the old prayer books. It seems uh, they had a pension fund that published some of their own prayer books. I would assume like a pension for the priesthood, perhaps church staff. I'm not sure. If you know, uh, please share in the comments. And again, just, yeah, well printed. This is larger, of course. This is getting to where it's not quite as convenient if I just want to hold it in my hand. I can, but uh, it's a little more to hold. And it doesn't quite want to lay flat until we get a few pages in, huh? So this is a nice size, though, I found if me and Mrs. TSB are doing evening prayer together. Sometimes we do with the BCP. This larger size is easier for both of us to read while one holds it open. Bookmark I have in there. History Channel, Presidents. I dig that embossed cover. That's cool. And finally, we have a more modern edition. This is another Oxford Common Prayer. This is, I believe, still available. I know there's the number. It's a seven. It's not going to want to focus. 7,600. There we go. <clears throat> this is still available, I know, at least in the kind of faux leather overboard version, uh, Memo showed that in his video. I'll put a link to his video in the description below, but this is just a hardcover version, maybe more like something they'd have in the pew. It did come with two ribbons. That's really nice. Too many of them don't have any ribbons. You need so many ribbons for a prayer book, especially if you're trying to keep your place. It's got a presentation page, marriages, baptisms, confirmations. New York, Oxford University Press. Printed in the United States. I think some of them are also printed in Korea, but uh, I think quality's comparable either way. You see the note here that this was photographically reproduced from a certified edition. So what they did is they've taken one of these others, maybe something like this, which is about the same size as this. I forgot to measure that, so we'll measure this one. But they've uh, just kind of reproduced it. And as a result, the the font's not real finely printed. It's okay. I, I still think it's quite readable. It's not bad. But it doesn't have that uh, crispness that you're used to. And if that's important to you, you probably want to just find a, a, an older copy that's in excellent shape, like some of the others that I showed you. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. We'll zoom in here on Psalm 73. And But I say I don't really think it's a problem. Turn that exposure down and get focus. Bump in the light. I think it's fine, but it is worth knowing, noting and knowing that these are uh, a reproduction that uh, was scanned.
and this is about seven and a half. There we go. Seven and eh, seven and three quarters. Almost five, a little over five, I mean. But if you're looking for a new one, I think this is your only option, really. I don't believe anybody else is still producing a 28 Book of Common Prayer. I could be wrong. If you know of anyone else, let me know in the comments. But there are plenty of older ones out there that are still available, so you do have options. I like all of them. I think any of these are great. The biggest deciding factor, I believe, would be size. How large of a book do you want? How will you hold it or use it? Will you have it in your hand or on a table? Having ribbons is nice, but uh, it's usually pretty easy to add ribbons. So these two are my favorites. I like the smaller sizes. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed seeing them. If you want to see a few more, be sure to watch Mamo's video. He's got some that I don't have. Uh, if you have anything you'd like to share, please do so in the comments. Give it a like if you enjoyed this. As always, I invite you to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless, and we'll see you for the next one. Thank you.